guys I'm back it's maybe not gonna be three times Tuesday however I can't be stopped with this truffle madness I just made the tastiest dessert truffle yes you heard me right I'm not crazy it's divine um, on mine I added a little cinnamon a little vanilla to the batter and I was like, oh, if it tastes like eggs or cheese with cinnamon, I'm gonna yak. So, let me show you what I did. So you're gonna take your one egg and you're gonna crack it. And then, and I wish I could show you guys this, but I can't find a really good angle for anything today. So as I do stuff, I'm just gonna show you. Okay, so you're gonna take your one egg some ground cinnamon. If I opened it the correct way, it opens every time. I'm looking at the wrong side. I put my camera on the wrong side, so now I'm all jacked up. But just like a small-ish um, sprinkle of cinnamon. I'm going to take maybe like a eighth to a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. If almond is not your bag, don't use it. I'm going to take the same amount of vanilla extract. I use Mexican vanilla, but any pure vanilla will work. Then, since we're making two chaffles, which is, okay, so my recipe will make two chaffles. Again, if you're making a chaffle sandwich, it's perfect. This is going to make a breakfast, breakfast or not breakfast, I'm sorry, dessert chaffle. So, I'm gonna take my time figuring stuff out, apparently. Um, I'm, I'm reaching for a measuring spoon. About a teaspoon to a teaspoon, say like a heaping teaspoon of Swerve or sweetener of your choice. I know how Swerve reacts and it's fine. So we're gonna do that. Uh, meanwhile, while you're stirring that up, make sure you have your dash preheating. I just had to clean mine because we made chaffle pizzas for dinner and I forgot the cheese. So you're also gonna use your 40 grams of cheese. I'm using mozzarella, it's very mild flavor and it takes on the flavor of pretty much anything you're trying to do. To my mozzarella cheese and hear me out, I promise you it doesn't taste cheesy and somehow it doesn't taste eggy. I'm going to put about half a teaspoon to one teaspoon, depending on how sweet you like it, and a dash, a heavy dash of cinnamon on the cheese. Please don't click away yet. I promise guys, I haven't lost my mind entirely. I just want to make sure we're covering anything that may taste cheesy. This is a little different than the one that I just made. So bear with me. I'll put the uh, recipe in the description down below. So my dash is heated up. I'm going to take a quarter of the cheese because remember this 40 grams makes two waffles. So take about a quarter of the cheese. You can probably hear it sizzling. Take, oh, it smells so good already. Okay, then you're gonna take half of your egg Pour it into your waffle maker. Take another quarter of your cheese and sprinkle it on top. Close up your dash and then you wait. So I have, and I wish, like I said, I wish I could show you guys, but I have you set up on two boxes of bottle liners and a pack of graham crackers. So my two year old, my sweet little Brooks, had taken my little stand that I was using and it's in pieces elsewhere in our house. So instead of worrying about that, I just kind of put it up and do whatever I can with it. So that's why you're either on the window seal or you are jacked up on something. So again, we're gonna let our waffle cook. We're going to make the other waffle, but before we cut to the next scene, I want you guys to 
get a paper plate or a bowl big enough for your chaffle to fit in comfortably. We are gonna make a churro chaffle. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I promise you this is all keto, all low carb, and it's it's fabulous, guys. So I'm watching, I keep looking to make sure my blue light's still on on my dash. But anyway, so you're gonna mix equal parts cinnamon sugar. I'm thinking probably a tablespoon plus of each. Maybe like, eh, we'll, we'll do a tablespoon of each. Um, so I'm going to melt some butter. I'm going to get my pastry brush. Hopefully, we're gonna cross our fingers that I can find it. And I'm going to get my cinnamon sugar mixture and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are back and I have you hopefully situated where you can see. I've got my chaffles right here. That one's fresh out of the doggone toaster thing. But as you can see, they brown up beautifully. I'm letting this little fat guy cool down. I've got melted butter in this bowl. I've, well, hopefully it didn't go anywhere. And I've also got a plate of cinnamon sugar. So, well, cinnamon swerve. So what I'm gonna do is take the cooler of the two. Oh, that is all up in y'all's face. I am super sorry. Okay, so I'm going to brush the butter all over you don't really, you want a thin layer of butter. You don't want to um, super like cake it on or anything, but you do want to make sure that your cinnamon sugar will stick. So then just plop it into the cinnamon sugar mixture. And if you want, you can sprinkle it on however you want to do it. And then just kind of, I don't know how to say, I guess bang it off. And then you have a cinnamon sugar churro style. Okay, so what I did on my last one, I didn't do cinnamon sugar, but I did do creamy peanut butter. I'm gonna take some peanut butter this is the um, Organic Great Value brand. It is the stir kind. So on one of your sides, you just, oh, sorry y'all. You just kind of smear your peanut butter around. And I'm gonna make this a dessert sandwich for Zach. Now, the best part, I've got these Lily's baking chips. I'm gonna just go ahead Sprinkle a couple of these on here because at this point, why not? You know, I'm going to use just a few of each bag. So, Zach's not a huge fan of strawberries, otherwise, I would put a sliced strawberry on here. But again, not a huge fan. So, what I'm going to do, take the other side and just smush it on here. Now, if you think this is a little excessive, it totally is but the macros are super low you're getting some good stuff in there and it's delicious so i'm gonna bring this out to him let him try it that's it guys so if you have any questions please feel free to comment down below i will answer them to the best of my abilities thank you once again for tuning in i really really said it last time but i truly hope to be back doing youtube way more frequently i've loved it i've missed it and give me just a second, I'll go get my smallest peanut. Hey guys, this is my little peanut butter Briggs. Say hi guys. He just turned three months old on the 3rd of August. He's a big guy. He is little brother to our sweet Brooks and we are so thankful to be his mama and daddy and big brother. If you have any questions, again, leave them below. I hope to see y'all soon. That's it for now. Bye y'all. Say bye.